Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Um, as you see in the screen, I'm recording for you now uh, our TV station. As you, uh, If you remember, um, we said before we are working hard to open our TV station. And now we are doing uh, testing broadcasting. So uh, feel free to go to debatetv.org. Debatetv.org, you will see the, uh, the link next to the video or uh, you know in this in the right side and their info and you will see it in the screen too uh, so you go there and you click at live and you will be able to watch us live now um, we are just in the beginning uh, so don't expect to see something fancy okay uh, we are just trying to do the good work and uh, get the message out uh, we don't have a lot of uh, uh, we don't have uh, audio and uh, uh, directors, you know, we are just doing uh, a humble job for, for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, so maybe in the future when we get more support and may, more equipment and maybe more people work with us, uh, we can get things even better and better. But for now what we have is, is a blast from the Lord and we are happy for it. Uh, uh, we will have our, uh, our TV show every day, every night. Uh, usually we start uh, around 7.30 uh, New York time or 8 New York time. So feel free, go to debatetv.org and we will have a phone number on the screen. When, you, when we are debating live, any Muslim, anyone would like to call and share with us, you can call live on air. So thank you all and I hope you are going to enjoy our TV station. Thank you. The Bible said, get angry but don't sin. Or just be naive, be calm, don't worry about it, close your eyes, put your, hand, your head in the sand like this big ostrich bird, and someday you wake up when it's too late. The Holy Quran mentions that no corruption shall touch it from any side. The Holy Quran has remained unchanged, not altered an iota during all these 1400 years. It shall remain so until the final day of judgment, for God has taken it on himself to protect it. This is not true. And I wish I had a time tonight to cover this section. But if by God's will I came back in the future, I would love to do our seminar, Has the Bible Been Corrupted? And I will show you that even the Quran we have today have nothing to do with the original Quran. So many changes, so many corruption take place in this book according to the Muslim people scholar books. Not because some Christians said so. Their own books. The Hadith prove it. The Quran prove it. So the Old Testament has been changed and corrupted. The New Testament has been changed and corrupted. But the Quran is a perfect word of God. Never been changed and been corrupted. Alright, Quran says that Islam is the only religion accepted by God. The Quran says that Muhammad is the final prophet of Islam. Conclusion, therefore, Muhammad must be the greatest. I'd like to add one more important thing. Is Who is the cornerstone? See, Muhammad said he's the cornerstone. Jesus said he's the cornerstone. We need to find out who is telling the truth and who is lying. Muhammad said, My similarity in comparison with the other prophets is that of a man who has built a house nicely and beautifully, except for a place of one brick in a corner. I am that brick. Muhammad says in this hadith that he is the cornerstone. In the book of Ephesians, Apostle Paul says, the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. You can't have two cornerstones in a building. One of these two prophets is a liar and the other says the truth. And it's okay for Muslims to say Jesus is not the son of God. Jesus is not God who came to flesh. And if you believe in this to be an infidel, and it's not okay for us to say Muhammad is a false prophet. Somebody is a liar, but who? We're going to look at these two men, Muhammad and Jesus.